The nursing category is GIGU. The NCLEX category is Physiological Adaptation. The new graduate nurse is training on Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy, CRRT, in the intensive care unit. The nurse correctly understands which of the following about CRRT versus regular hemodialysis. A. The client receives CRRT due to hypotension. B. Once CRRT is performed, a client will no longer be able to tolerate hemodialysis. C. CRRT is utilized when a client needs dialysized more quickly than is possible with regular hemodialysis. D. CRRT is a temporary measure for clients in acute kidney failure, while regular hemodialysis is a long-term measure for the client in chronic kidney failure. Again, the new graduate nurse is training on continuous renal replacement therapy, CRRT, in the intensive care unit. The nurse correctly understands which of the following about CRRT versus regular hemodialysis. A. The client receives CRRT due to hypotension. B. Once CRRT is performed, a client will no longer be able to tolerate hemodialysis. C. CRRT is utilized when a client needs dialysized more quickly than is possible with regular hemodialysis. D. CRRT is a temporary measure for clients in acute kidney failure, while regular hemodialysis is a long-term measure for the client in chronic kidney failure. The correct answer is A. The client receives CRRT due to hypotension. CRRT is slow dialysis and is appropriate for the client with hemodynamic instability. Hypotension is common with hemodialysis because filtration removes waste and fluid at a rate of 2 to 4 liters over 2 to 4 hours. This is a large fluid shift that a hypotensive, hemodynamically unstable client cannot tolerate. Therefore, CRRT is indicated. Regarding B, any client that becomes stabilized will be able to return to hemodialysis. CRRT is a temporary measure for the very sick, very unstable clients. Regarding C, CRRT is slow filtration of the client's blood. Rather than a liter of fluid being pulled off in one hour, CRRT pulls off about 300 to 400 milliliters in one hour. Regarding D, CRRT is a temporary measure for unstable clients, not specifically for clients in acute kidney failure. Regular hemodialysis can be used temporarily or long-term for clients in acute or chronic kidney failure. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the nursing.com NCLEX question of the day podcast. We love you guys. We know you can succeed. Happy nursing.